My name is John Cohen and I chose to do my final paper on the Yamaha HVX hybrid motorcycle. On the first slide is a picture of the, the new Yamaha HVX. Okay, the history and background of Yamaha. Yamaha was established in 1887 by Torokusu Yamaha as Nippon Gaki Company Limited and was incorporated on October 12, 1897. And if you look on the PowerPoint, that's a picture of Torokusu Yamaha. Yamaha was originally a piano and reed organ manufacturer. There on the second on the third slide rather, the left picture is a picture of, you know, like an, an old piano, and the right is a picture of a reed organ. The company's origins as a musical instrument manufacturer is still reflected today in the group's logo, which is a trio of interlocking tuning forks. After, after World War II, the company president, Genichi Kawakamasaki, repurposed the remains of the company's wartime production machinery and the company's expertise in metallurgical technologies to manufacture motorcycles. The YA-1, a.k.a. Akatomo, the Red Dragonfly, which is on slide number five, the left, the picture on the left. Um, it was built in 1958. There were 125 of these built in the first year of production. Um, the motorcycle, it was only a 125cc single cylinder two stroke motor, which was a street bike um, patented after the German. DKW RT125, which is on the right side of the slide. It was the um, the British munitions firm BSA had also copied it in the post-war era, and they manufactured it as the Bantam, and Harley Davidson manufactured it as the Hummer. In 1959, the success of the YA1 resulted in the founding of the Yamaha Motor Company Ltd. The company's, intense, the company's intensive research into metal alloys for use in acoustic pianos had given Yamaha wide knowledge of the making of lightweight yet sturdy and reliable metal constructions. This knowledge was easily applied to the making of metal frames and motor parts for motorcycles. Yamaha Motor is the world's second largest producer of motorcycles, of course after Honda. It also produces many other motorized vehicles, such as all-terrain vehicles, boats, snowmobiles, Yamaha outboard motors, and personal watercraft. And in slide number six, as you can see, I have a picture of a, of a jet ski, there's a bunch of other vehicles, a quad, a new dirt bike, new motorcycles. Yamaha has grown to become the world's largest manufacturer of musical instruments, including pianos, silent pianos, drums, guitars, brass instruments, um, woodwinds, violins, violas, vibraphones, and saxophones, as well as a leading manufacturer of uh, semiconductors, audiovisual equipment, computer-related products, sporting goods, home appliance, um, specialty metals, and industrial robots. In October 1987, on its 100th anniversary, the name was changed to the Yamaha Corporation. Yamaha has a long racing heritage where it has had its machines and team winning many different competitions in many different areas, particu particularly in motorcycle racing. Yamaha has had great success. Um, in this slide, slide number eight, it's... um. It's actually a great picture of two um, two racing motorcycles in um, a Yamaha factory. And underneath, it's, a, it's quoted, Life can have many exciting, memorable experiences. Creating opportunities for them is what Yamaha is all about. Yeah.
It began with simple and inexpensive machines, but has grown to its position as a power sports powerhouse, offering some of the best sport bikes, cruisers, and off-road bikes on the market. The company's um, vision mission statement is a um, is quoted from the website as a checkered flag, a scenic panorama unfolding around the bend, a trophy catch, a pulse quickening stretch of road or trail, heads turning as you pass by, even coming home at the end of a hard day's work. Whatever your pursuit, Yamaha is there too, pursuing our goals. We want to satisfy our customers and exceed their expectations with products and services of superior quality, unmatched performance, and extraordinary value. With an ever with a an ever expanding line that includes motorcycles, outboard motors, ATVs, personal watercraft, snowmobiles, boats, outdoor power equipment, race car engines, accessories, apparel, and much much more. We at Yamaha Motor Corporation USA strive to contribute to the quality of life, your life. Life can have many exciting memorable experiences. Creating opportunities for them is what Yamaha is all about. Now the challenge, which is the hybrid challenge. Yamaha wanted to create a hybrid motorcycle that looks and handles like a super sport street bike, but is more efficient than a Toyota Prius. The HVX concept defies motorcycling conventions. It's, it's got a scooter-like automatic transmission and an engine mimics the classic lay-down orientation of, a, of modern Vespas and vintage Honda Cubs. Yamaha mounted it rigid to the chassis following the practice of their own award-winning line of R1 and R6 uh, super sport bikes. Similarly, the rider's feet are flat, but his legs straddle the HVX's advanced lithium-ion battery pack, which occupies a space, you know, the motorcycle design is typically put where the fuel tank is in a posture that over 30 riders will immediately recognize as a classic UJM standard seating position. UJM stands for Universal Japanese Motorcycle, which offered an upright position. They were truly practical vehicles that could be used as inexpensive commuters, middle distance tours, and in the right hands, capable canyon carvers. The bike has a compact, full hybrid system. The engine consists of a 250cc unit worth all of maybe 15 to 20 horsepower, uh, 15 to 20 horsepower, a 20 horsepower electric motor, a 300 volt. Um, lithium ion pack of unknown capacity, controller and DC to AC inverter all incorporated within the bike's framework. The HVX is a petrol electric hybrid based on the same technology as the world's most successful hybrid car, the Toyota Prius. And on slide number 11, I have a picture combining the elements. I have a Vespa, the Yamaha R6, and the Toyota Prius. And as a hybrid, it is environmentally friendly. The bike promises minimal emissions and vastly improved fuel efficiency. Uh, as a motorcycle, it will provide the excitement of riding an excellent accelerating machine that provides a thrilling experience at each and every curve. Um, what does the bike gain or lose? Um, Yamaha Company... They will do nothing but gain if they end up producing and releasing the HVX to the public. Yamaha will continue to lead the industry as a power sports giant if they continue to stay ahead with the constantly changing industry. Um, Yamaha Corp will also continue to gain support by creating new hybrid motorcycles and eventually other vehicles such as ATVs or maybe even you know watercraft such as jet skis and wave runners. More hybrid vehicles means a cleaner planet, less emissions, and less fossil fuels being used. You know, which is another reason Yamaha will gain support for helping clean up the planet. Um, and in the sli slide number twelve, I it says gain or lose, and I have a picture of a of a car emitting a lot of um, a lot of exhaust, and another picture of a clean planet and a clean field, and another picture of 